I tell people that I'm a visual artist and that I specialize in creating artwork from recycled and reclaimed salvage material. When they ask me what does that mean, I tell them I build mosaics and I build collages. When they say, well, what's the style like? I tell them it's somewhere in between fine art and folk art. And they look at me puzzled, but they say, well, that sounds neat. <laughs> I started out on my career path going to school and getting a degree in commercial art, which led to getting a job in advertising agencies. And I, I worked as a designer and art director for almost 20 years. It started out as a hobby with my, uh, my son and I, when he was a little kid, we would spend uh, Saturday afternoons trying to think of projects to do together. We were having our breakfast in the morning, and I said, you know, we could take this cereal box and we could make a, a mosaic out of it. He said, let's do it. And we used an Apple Jacks box. We got it done, and he thought it was so neat. He loved as I cut up pieces, he'd sort out the colors, and we uh, abstractly laid the pieces in, and he looked at it, and he said, it looks like a rabbit jumping out of a hole. And in an abstract way, I thought, it really does. And that really was the moment when I realized it's like, well, if we could do an abstract rabbit out of a cereal box in an hour, what if I spent a whole day or a week working on a mosaic project made out of cereal boxes? And it clicked, and that's where it all started. I worked on a lot of packaged goods accounts, cereal and snack foods and soda, and consequently I always had an office full of packaging, and I realized that it would be a really fun medium to learn how to do mosaics with. I was a little intimidated with just diving in and trying to work with tile or glass, but paper packaging I had lots of, and um, I just started cutting up old boxes, and uh, that's kind of how I taught myself the basic techniques of doing mosaic and collage work. In 2005, I was able to leave my advertising job and uh, pursue working on my mosaic and fine art work full time. When I'm sourcing my materials, most of the recycled, reclaimed, used stuff that I look for comes from thrift stores. One blue tile for 25 cents, but I'll take that. This is the Habitat for Humanity Restore in New Brighton. For tile, this is the best place to find it. It's kind of been my, my hidden secret. These are probably really expensive at one time. I don't have a project I can use them on right now. I wish I did. Um, somebody else is gonna find these and really luck out a whole box of them for $25. That's a pretty good deal. My favorite kind of tile to work with is uh, porcelain or high fire tile. Now that I've been doing mosaic and collage work for the last 10, 15 years, I've got a pretty good collection of my own material. And in my basement, I almost have my own thrift store set up. Sometimes I can do an entire project just from all the material that I have here. I have friends and relatives who go out and do picking for me. Occasionally people will give me old antique plates that they've had or been in their family collection and uh, they've gotten chipped or broken. Typically, instead of throwing them out, they usually ask me if I can use them and incorporate them into projects, and I just love it. And often, clients will give me old dishware of theirs because it reminds them of a relative or family member, and I'll try to incorporate that into the actual design, too. Right now, I'm working on a tile mosaic backsplash in the mornings when I've got good light. I had met with the client a couple months ago and they told me they would really like to do a Day of the Dead skeleton theme. The first thing that I do is a pencil drawing. 
Once this was approved by the client, I took the pencil drawing of the artwork, brought it to a copy center and had an oversized black and white copy made, took the copy, laid it down onto a piece of tile board, and using carbon paper, I transferred that design. And upon transferring it, I use a magic marker and go over that and get a nice solid outline for me to use. So it's almost like a coloring book at this point. And now I just figure out where all the tile colors are going to go. It's really fun for me when I find these interesting patterns, textures, words, to use them in a mosaic or collage, but to kind of hide them so that as the viewer sees the piece from a distance, they're drawn into trying to figure out what it's made of, or maybe they just like the, the design. But I think that there's a real payoff when they go and they look at it up close and they see, well, this landscape that looks like there's a rainstorm going on. The rain isn't rain, it's barcodes off of paper packaging or tin packaging. I am working on a series of tin collages in the afternoons. The tin collages are cool. They're a whole series of wild animals. And this is a great horned owl. A lot of my tin work that I do comes from canisters that people were gonna just throw in the recycling bin. And it's rewarding for me to know that rather than have somebody throw something out or just put it in recycling where it gets melted again, that I can turn it into a piece of artwork. And it's kind of cool because even the scraps that I don't use, then I in turn can put those in the recycling bin. And there's not much of a footprint left from any of the work that I do. I try to get the most usage out of everything. You can see some of my mosaic work at the Minneapolis airport. The Mayo Clinic in Rochester has a couple of pieces of mine. Minneapolis Children's Hospital, there's actually four or five different pieces that I've created for them in the last few years. Children's Hospital in St. Paul has some work. When I do work for hospitals or schools or libraries, but at hospitals in particular, there's a sense of reward with it. Oftentimes the themes that I get to work on are, are pretty fun. You know, the artwork is meant to cheer people up in a kind of a tough situation. And so to create a piece of artwork that's designed to try to boost people's feelings and make them feel better, that's rewarding in itself. And occasionally I'll hear back, I'll get an email from somebody saying, you know, my husband was in the hospital or my grandmother was there and I was in a really bad mood and I walked out and I saw one of your mosaics and it made me feel so good. To get that kind of feedback is just the best feeling in the world. You know, it just makes me feel like I've got a purpose for the artwork that I'm creating. I just love that. <laughs>